hello techies in this video we will learn about MOSFET gate threshold voltage so you are having any power converters and you are using that for transfer of your energy from high side to low side or low side to high side so you are using MOSFET as a switch to uh, convert the power and you are uh, driving MOSFET through some gate driver IC and uh, that gate driver IC is uh, supplying uh, voltage to your MOSFET uh, let's say some volt 10 volt or 12 volt depending on the application and the main thing uh, that needs to uh, take care in this uh, application is uh, your MOSFET should not uh, turn off uh, when it is not required or unintended turn off so how do you make sure that uh, it should not uh, turn off when it's not required and why does it happen and because if in case MOSFET leads to turn off so it can also lead to linear mode operation and can uh, lead to MOSFET uh, failure and ultimately fire event in your converter so how do you make sure that MOSFET uh, do not turn off when it is not required so you are driving MOSFET from a gate uh, driver IC and that is uh, supplying some voltage of uh, output voltage of some say let's say 10 volt at normal operation but what you have to take care in this uh, in this application is uh, MOSFET threshold voltage so in this video we will see about what is MOSFET threshold voltage and uh, how do we make sure that uh, it does not cause any problem while designing any uh, um, gate drive supply uh, yeah so let's see in the, we are using some stm data sheet here and let's see anywhere given uh, MOSFET threshold voltage or not for gate gate source so let us check Yeah, so here it is given gate threshold voltage and uh, here they are mentioning that uh, gate threshold voltage is 1.9 to uh, 5 volt so which value we should consider uh, we should consider 5 volt we should consider 3.2 or 1.9 volt so it's quite confusing uh, while selecting any uh, gate driver IC because uh, what this means this voltage means is that if your gate driver IC uh, or including your uh, gate driver circuit in total generates an output voltage of uh, uh, let's say 7 volt then MOSFET will turn on and if in, in, if in some case if the voltage is let's say uh, generated like 3 volt so 3 volt is less than 5 volt so your MOSFET will not turn on and it could lead to failure also because MOSFET is not turning on and it's uh, causing dissipation of power but we also see that we have a 3.2 volt and 1.9 volt so what exactly uh, we should choose here so let's see any graph is given or not for this uh, parameter so, so most probably we should see graph for threshold voltage here we can see normalized gate threshold voltage versus temperature so here you can see that at 25 uh, we have a, a nominal voltage of 1 that means we have to multiply 1 into the voltage that we have seen earlier 1.9 to 5 and uh, as soon as we go above the temperature the gate threshold voltage is uh, decreasing so for now let's consider 5 volt and we see that uh, at 150 something around 0 0.757 let's say so 0 0.7 into 5 that makes 3.5 so here uh, the voltage is uh, get threshold voltage is 3.5 so you should select uh, uh, gate driver IC including your gate driver circuit that generates a voltage output voltage of always more than 3.5 volt 
but uh, as soon as you go uh, above the temperature or lower the temperature at negative temperature minus 45 uh, you see something around 1.3 so you have to multiply 1.3 into 5 so that is uh, that is something uh, 1.3 into 5 so that makes uh, 6.5 volt so in this case your gate driver IC plus gate driver circuit should generate output voltage of uh, more than 6.5 volt so here we are getting two voltages 6.6 .6 and something around 5.5 .5. so which voltage should we consider and also considering the fact that we see here three voltages 1.9 to 5 volt so which we should consider usually most of the uh, power supplies designer uh, see that uh, uh, 5 volt is given here so let's choose 5 volt so let me tell you one thing always go with the uh, maximum uh, value 5 volt here because we don't want our uh, MOSFET to turn off if something happens to our power supply or something happens to the temperature of the coolant or the ambient temperature so depending on the, depending on the applications this temperature used to varies and uh, and we don't know means our power supply is stable enough or not and uh, noise is there or not in our power supply so make sure that uh, you have your in total gate driver and circuit generates a maximum voltage so that the MOSFET don't lead to a linear mode operation so first of all by seeing this table always go with the maximum voltage once you get the maximum voltage then head on to this graph so in this graph in this graph now the question is which one you should you, you should consider minimum temperature or maximum temperature so just now we have seen that in maximum temperature uh, 175 we got around uh, 3.5 volt and uh, at negative temperature we got around 6.6 .6 volt so as i told always go with uh, maximum voltage so you should uh, consider uh, consider negative temperature always while deciding the gate threshold voltage so in this case the gate threshold voltage will be something around 6.5 so always choose a power supply for a gate, gate driver uh, circuit that generates uh, voltage of al always voltage of let's say 7 volt here because uh, because of noise uh, considering noise so noise can go let's say 0.5 volt below so always choose at least 7 volt uh, for a power supply and uh, in normal mode consider consider that uh, 12 volt power uh, 12 volt power supply for gate driver so even if you, if you get a noise of 1 volt so 12 volt will make to 11 volt and uh, at any how it will not go to uh, 6.5 volt such that your MOSFET will be um, turned off unintentionally so this video is all about this so always choose uh, maximum gate threshold voltage and negative temperature and uh, from the table go with maximum multiply with uh, negative values uh, this is STM data sheet so they are giving normalized uh, values here and then you have to multiply in some suppliers for example Vishay they give values directly so you can get values directly from the graph so hope you like this video thank you